this place right now called Posada Margarita, which is an Italian restaurant. But we're too early for the dinner menu, so we're gonna get breakfast here. Uh, it's got the most beautiful beach view from it. If you wanna see what we're looking at right now, uh, check this out. We both kind of passed out yesterday, fell asleep. I didn't even finish the, the vlog. I thought I'd, I'd say something at the end, but um, uh, pretty exhausting first day yesterday. Um, today, uh, we're gonna get a calm breakfast. Ooh. Today, we're gonna get a, a breakfast here and then uh, go explore some Mayan ruins. We finished uh, our breakfast at Posada and uh, we got one of these beachside cabana things and we're just chilling here enjoying the fresh juice and the view and the shade. This is what uh, our view looks like. to a national park here near Tulum and this uh, place Tulum and surrounding area used to be part of a of Mayan settlement so Maya lived here and they left many uh, archaeological sites and structures and one of them Tulum ruins there to, used to be an old fortress right on the edge of the sea that's like a baby alligator size Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is huge! It's enormous! He's uh, masquerading. Oh! <laughs> yeah, some Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Survivor It's so hot here today. I don't know in degrees, but sweating bullets and standing by the ocean at an elevation in this opening, there's just this cold breeze coming in and I don't want to leave this place. It's amazing. <laughs> Pretty sure it's 91 degrees right now. 91? Mm -hmm. Feels hotter. Well, it's humid. We stopped by here uh, at 
the restaurant by the ruins uh, to get some food. We're gonna get a couple pizzas and then uh, we have one more stop on the itinerary today, and that will be a sinote. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Uh, it's especially difficult for you because I'm scared of dark water. Scared of dark water. It wasn't dark. It was just. It was very clear. Was I mean, cave was dark, but the water was like you could see everywhere. Yeah, so did the water you enjoy this uh, experience? Yeah. Yeah, I will go to another cenote. Good. Well, uh, we actually went for a swim in the cenote. Cenote de Ojos is the one where we went. Cenotes are caves that collapsed and are filled with the clearest, freshest water. They're beautiful. Uh, there are some bats in the caves up towards the ceiling. There are those uh, huge columns coming from the ceiling and the water is uh, very refreshing. So when we go into the ocean here, the water is really, really warm. Like it's not refreshing at all. Same with all the pools, however. In the cenotes, it's actually really, really refreshing. <laughs> uh, they have these hammocks here on the property, which you can just relax, and a lot of seating arrangements, a lot of shade. It's pretty nice. You could, you know, we came for like an hour and a half. We tried to pack in a lot today, uh, but you could come here for like half a day. And I think that what we should have done instead of chilling at the beach all the time, we should have come here and just chilled for the day because there's so many trees and a lot of shade. It's very relaxing in the midst of all this heat and then you get to dive in and swim in this really nice and refreshing water. I feel very refreshed, rejuvenated in a way uh, also, but it's closing at 5 and it's about like 4.40, 4.45 right now, so we gotta head back to town. I think that's that's all for the day. We'll probably just get food in town uh, and chill maybe by the pool in in our place, uh, but would, would you agree that was a good experience? We are in downtown Tulum looking for some dinner. So we're sitting outside at this uh, restaurant in Tulum town. Uh, I went for Italian with fettuccine alfredo today. Daria, on the other hand, went local, locally caught fish, freshly prepared. Very excited to eat. Well, we're done with our dinner. It was actually really delicious. Did you like your fish a lot? I did. It was very yeah, good. Yeah, she let me try. It was really good. And uh, my fettuccine was great too. And everything in town is half the price of everything on the beach. And apart from, I think, a few restaurants that are, you know, world renowned on the beach. Food is just as good, local food especially. So, I highly recommend dining in town sometimes. Savannah, I'm coming home. 